Hi everyone, happy Thursday. I think it's a Thursday. I've lost my days of the week. Yes, Thursday. And I am, we are doing an extra video because I have more new release flip throughs to show you. Um, <laughs> my, my book buying has really, really been um, off the charts this month. I still, even though, uh, a little hint from my video yesterday, I actually got the job offer that I was looking for and I'm going to start September 12th. Um, contingent, you know, on everything going through, which shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully, knock on wood, multiple bits of wood here. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but because it'll be a while before I get my first check, my plan in September is to really just back off unless I need like some extra markers, if I have enough markers run dry, or, you know, basically a refill of a coloring supply. I'm really going to try to limit how much purchasing I do in September just until I get through that first initial pay period at the new job so um and then <laughs> we're gonna try it. we're gonna stick to a budget yeah I know keep telling myself that right anyway I have two new releases for y'all today <clears throat> you'll see well I'll talk about at the end what the schedule is gonna look like um for the next few days so all right, first up, we have Easy Fall. This is the newest release by Joshua Dunbar. This is the Easy Fall coloring book. Amazon printed. It is a typical Amazon size, 50 images, which I always appreciate when he uh, does so many images in the book. I feel like that's just a really great deal for the price point for this book. Not sure if I'm 100% quite ready for fall yet, but I know I will be in September, so might as well go ahead and get prepared, correct? <laughs> Though I still want to do a picture, I think I'm going to try before the end of the month doing at least one picture in this book and one picture in the new Alexander Francis book is what my goal is, hopefully. If you want to pause and read this, this is his little intro to the book. And then we get started. We have, of course, the cute fox on the cover. I thought of just doing, um, just using the color scheme on the cover for this one. I don't know. It looks so pretty. It may just be what I end up going with. I don't know. We'll see. But then, whoops. There we go. So, real thick line art. Not super complex images. But some real light shading done as well. I like straight coloring these and then adding in some pastel pencils for a little bit more shading in the areas that are already shaded or just making, adding my own shading as well. It's typically my approach for these books. so cute so cute not even a scary monster it's just a cute monster oh my gosh I I tell y'all the past month has just been so stressful even though things have have been a little more positive this week i am still craving carbs like nobody's business and just the idea of a fresh apple pie right now just oh, just sounds amazing you know i think i have a little mini apple pie in the fridge like banquet sells those little mini apple pies i mean they're nothing like a fresh pie but i think i still have one in the freezer and i think i might go eat that after i get done with this video We don't keep a lot of sweet stuff in the house, just um, 
my husband, uh, while not diabetic, he does, he really still watches his sugar intake a lot. And, um, I don't need it, a, need it a lot either because a lot of sugar does not help with my health issues. Um, and it also doesn't help with me, fortunately, slowly being able to lose weight. I've actually dropped about 20 pounds since, oh, I don't know. It's been spring, maybe the beginning of summer. So, um, not really doing anything in particular, just, um, a lot of it's just, oh, that cow is so cute. Any cow I know probably would wind up eating all the fruits and veggies around him right there. So that's a very well-trained cow. That's so pretty. A little mum, I'm assuming. But, um, with my gastroparesis, my food intake's weird. If, if I eat something really heavy and dense, like a baked potato or a steak or something that has a lot of fat or a lot of fiber to it, um, it really, and I, I do that for too many consecutive meals, it kind of kills my appetite for a few days. So, um, that's part of the reason I'm not really changing how I eat in order to lose weight. So I don't know if I'm necessarily, you know, changing healthy habits. However, it is coming off so cute. His little chubby cheeks. I'm all over the place today. Those chubby cheeks. That is just so cute. But I, I'm grateful for it. Um, at this point, I will take it. <laughs> That at least means that I'm getting enough, um, well, I, I feel like I'm in a place where I'm getting enough calories. Sometimes I'm worried I'm not getting enough, um, but my metabolism has tanked as well. So then it's like I have to eat usually a very small amount of calories. That is so cute. To, um lose any weight. However, what I have found is, um, for me, if I eat normally, but I eat mostly, I try to eat at least half protein instead, not half protein, but like at least 20 to 30 percent protein and try to eat fewer carbs. Um, that seems to be what's helping me more than anything. That's been the one, the biggest thing I've changed. I've bought like these low carb, really soft tortillas that I use and I get the cereal called Magic Spoon. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, so that's, that's the tip I would suggest to somebody maybe that's having trouble is maybe try the Magic Spoon cereal. It's, um, expensive, but it's, higher protein and low, lower carb. I don't go low carb. I just go lower carb. And that seems to really be helping. Anyway. Okay. Enough of that. I'm getting distracted from the important part of this. <laughs> Trash Panda. Though he looks pretty ha happy enough with his apple there. Oh, I love that picture. I love it. It's perfect. It's got an owl and a cat in it. The best of both worlds. Okay, now we're to the landscapes. Love that they group like this, by the way. Pretty bird. See, look at all this food, all this sweet stuff. Man, oh man. I like the little gnomes. I like the one earlier and then this one as well. He does have the gnomes book that he published under Jade Summer that I really like and that I need to color a picture in as well. It's not like I'm going to get more time. I will for the first, you know, week or so, full week of September, but... Things are going to be 
I'm still going to have, you know, time in the evenings and stuff, but like I said, I may have to save some of my bigger projects for like the weekends and stuff. That is a cute picture. I do like dogs. I know most people are like, oh, you only like cats. No, I do like dogs. I actually grew up with dogs. I just ended up liking cats more. But dogs are cool too. All animals are cool. That one's fun. I really like how he draws people. See, enticing me with all this sweet dessert stuff, man. That's why I don't get food and books, or I try not to buy, like, the, you know, delicious desserts books and stuff. I just feel like <laughs> it's too tempting. <laughs> it's a few pictures in a book like this aren't too bad because I can just kind of skip over them. That is a honking big turkey. Oh my word. I tell you what though, nothing, I am a simple, simple beast at heart. Um, nothing makes me happier than some turkey and mashed potatoes and like some cranberry sauce and corn and just, I'm just, that is the ultimate comfort food for me. If you want some more easy coloring, he does have his easy coloring book. Which I also don't believe I've colored in yet. And I need to. Or was that the one? No, that was the Hello Country Spring. So. so this is from his easy coloring book. I love the burb. I think that's a cardinal. I think. Especially because it's a winter type picture. I'm pretty sure that's a cardinal. He does have Hello Country Spring. In his 80's New Way book. He does have some books he published under Jade Summer as well. I do believe he is working on a Hello Autumn book as well. So we may get two fall books from him. So that's exciting. So thank you, Josh, for publishing that. I love it. And like I said, I'm really hoping I can get in a pick for the fall. Now, this was a last minute pre-order on my part. Um, I had seen it and I just, it was the cover. I didn't really like the cover of it. And so I didn't think I would like the book that much. And then I saw flip through a uh, doodle robot showed some of the pictures and I'm like, those pictures are really cute. And then I got the book and I've been looking through it and y'all, this might be one of my favorite books. Um, seriously, like, I, I don't know if I just the one the pictures I've seen in other flip throughs and stuff just haven't really enticed me but now I'm looking at this and I'm like it's awesome so this is a brand new release I managed to get on the pre-order right before it released and received it today illustrated by Juan and Santiago Cali Cal this is a little bit wider book. This is, of course, a Thunder Bay Press publication, which is um, a publisher in, for some other books that I have as well. I'm trying to think of which ones. I can't remember, but it is a familiar publisher. So it's not as tall as a standard coloring book, but it is wider. Very similar uh, height and width to the Camilla de Erico books, if you're looking for a comparison. So this is Manga Glow in the Dark Coloring. So here's the thing. There are pages in the book that have glow in the dark paint applied to certain portions of it. Now, um, can you color over it? I don't know. What I would probably do is leave it the color it is. I don't know. I'd have to see other people do that first before I want to do that. But obviously the concept is that you can then turn the lights off and it will glow in the dark. Of course, you have to expose it to a lot of light to get that to uh, pop and happen. But I'm assuming it feels kind of a little bit toothy over where it's been painted. So I don't know, maybe, well, if you use a water-based marker, maybe. But we'll have to see. Not all of them have this paint. So if you're not a particular fan of that. So here is this front double page spread. Here is if you want to pause and read this. A 
I like the did you know. Okay, some of the artworks have been embellished with glow ink. You will spot the sheen on 24 of the scenes. You expose them to light for 30 seconds. These pictures will then glow in the dark. The pages are perforated so you can frame and remove your favorites. Remove and frame your favorites. And then about the illustrators. So this is very cute. I love him. And here I can see the perforation. It's not all the way into, you get about an inch gap there. So keep that in mind if there are double page spreads in here. Oh my gosh, look at this first picture, y'all. Her going through the fire with the kitties. <gasps> I just can't, y'all. I just can't with that. That is absolutely stinking cute. And I don't think I had seen that picture up to this moment, so I am already thrilled with this choice. Oh, and these don't... Oh, y'all, y'all, this art doesn't go into the seam, into the crease. The only place it does is it looks like here. But on this page, look, so the perforations right here there's actual gap there. It doesn't go into the binding. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, please let more coloring book artists do this. It is so difficult to do that when you're using watercolor, or colored pencil, whatever. It gets so difficult to color in the crease. Oh my gosh. Anyway, lovely, love this picture with like the steampunk bird happening there. Awesome. So you guys can kind of see where it has that kind of yellow color. That's the glow in the dark paint. Let's see if I can pull this out just a hair more so we can get a full double page. Hi, Scamper. There she is with the doggies. So cute. Oh, these are so fun. Now, as you can see, not all of them have the glow-in-the-dark paint, so. My only, I think my only hang-up with this book right now is just the fact that it's double-sided. And with the manga style, I would want to use marker. I wish I could use alcohol marker with them. But, um... Might be able to get away with water-based marker. We're going to have to do some testing. I love this picture. I love this one too with the squirrels. Oh my gosh. So fun. Look at the troll under the bridge. <gasps> and the little tiger striped kitty. Whatever type kitty that is. And then the giant human kitty. See, this is okay because it's like a cat. It's like a human face, but everything else is cat. Like, I've joked about cat faces with human hands and feet and how that looks weird. This doesn't look as weird to me. I don't know. Call me crazy. I love this one, though, where they're just watching him nap. This is beautiful art. Absolutely beautiful. I am so glad I saw that flip through on Doodle Robot's uh, channel. I love her channel, by the way. Um, she, she puts so many unique touches on her pictures and helps me think out of the box on stuff all the time. So I do highly recommend her channel. Um, but I'm so glad I saw that. Look at this play on... Um, the Wizard of Oz, y'all. This double page spread. Isn't that amazing? But I'm so glad I saw that. And I picked it up. Because I would have seen other people's flip throughs. And I would have been just kicking myself. Now like I said, for a lot of people, the whole glow in the dark paint stuff might be a bit of a turn off on that part. Um, again, I don't know if you can go over it or not. I imagine I'll, there will be plenty of testing to show. 
little red riding hood there. I think the wolf wants more than the muffin, honey. I hate to tell you, and the birds, but the bird's gonna let you know. It's gonna be like, hey, heads up, just so you know. I'm getting a league of their own kind of vibes here. Updated league of their own, because of course they had like skirts and, you know, that was a little little bit different type of uniform but I could see doing this in a color scheme from a league of their own I'm going I need to go a lot faster I tell y'all it's just it really depends on my mood and what my day is going um how my day is going as to what my flip throughs end up being like <laughs> I'm in a good mood, so thus I am getting distracted easily. Love the chess pieces here in the background. Looks like a couple pattern pages, but not too bad. I almost would have liked to have seen the glow in the dark on the pattern pages a little bit. Oh, the kitties. Love it. Love it. I'm dying to tackle some watercolor on this and then, um, or water based markers. Oh, that is so cool. That's one of the ones I saw, and I was just like, oh, yes, yes, yes. I love these pictures too. A lot of images in this book. Little mechanical bunnies. Mech bunnies, I guess. Trying to speed it up a little bit now. Okay, so that's the one that was on the copyright page. So this one, the line art doesn't go into the crease. So like if you wanted to actually color it and not have to worry about the crease. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Love it. That looks similar to the wolf on the other page, and that looks similar to the house on there. Not the exact same picture, though, so that's okay. I really liked this one. I love the little flying squirrels. I think it's the coolest thing. Here we go. So very cool. The biggest thing, like this shows you back here what the glow in the dark part would look like. So that is pretty cool. A lot of images in this one. Like I said, I think um, I'm going to like this. I like this one quite a bit. And um, it's just going to be real interesting starting to test things in here and seeing what people do with the glow in the dark parts do we all leave them or do we try to color over them will they still glow in the dark if you use like a yellow let's say you use a yellow uh, crayola marker over them would they still technically glow in the dark like i don't know i think it's going to be interesting to see what the coloring community does with this book because this is um, a very interesting concept so all right so two amazing books and now is just finding the time and the energy to color <laughs> there's so much going on y'all so much okay so tomorrow i think 
it's going to be a very book heavy as it's been rest of the month. I'm just going to go ahead and give y'all heads up. So tomorrow I will probably do a digital flip through of the five new coloring book cafe digital books I picked up. Um, I will do those tomorrow. Saturday will be my next coloring book collection. You will see those briefly at the beginning. Again, just a peek at them because I have coloring book cafe and Crayolas to go over that I didn't get to go over last weekend because I hadn't got them yet. And some Crayola coloring pages that I've forgotten about before we get, we're going to do those and we're going to do the coloring heaven collection on Saturday. Sunday is going to be the supply and book haul. I have the Brett Funner pastel colored pencils with the pencil case I bought. I have some new types of swatches to show y'all briefly that I found online. But really that's going to be it in terms of supplies. The rest of it's just going to be showing you all the books I purchased this month. <laughs> <laughs> just briefly showing you um, and at that point I should have full flip throughs of them all um, so um, any of the books you see in that supply list should have a full flip through from sometime during this month Monday I may load um, some video of demoing the Castle Art Gold pencils I am using them in the Rita Berman Summer Walk book um, so we might do that on Monday just for something a little different. Um, Tuesday is going to be another flip through day. I've got four more books coming in on Tuesday and that is probably going to be it other than the new Rita Berman release that is on its way. Whenever that comes in that's going to be showed. That's probably going to be the official cutoff whenever that comes in. But you'll have more flip throughs on Tuesday. Wednesday we'll try to do something watercolory. Maybe Friday will be completed pages. Saturday will the next Saturday will be the kickoff for the tags for September. And then Sunday, I don't know what we're doing. But anyway, so basically for the next like week and a half, I have video set up. I may take a bit of a break on Thursday and give y'all a gap unless another book comes in or something like that. You're just getting a lot of videos from me, I guess, get, getting, them out, getting them out of my system before the 12th next month. So just as a heads up, that's all coming along. So um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you have a good rest of your Thursday. I will be back tomorrow with some more flip throughs. Thanks and bye for now.